I've mixed over 200 songs a year for the last decade, and in that time, I've come across many vocals with that were recorded in less than stellar conditions on cheap equipment. However, getting these vocals to sound clean usually comes down to the same three tools. In today's video, I'll demonstrate how I utilize these tools on three different vocals. Let's go. So the first vocal we're gonna go over is by Rhea Raj. This is an artist I've worked with quite a bit. Let's play it, and you guys can hear how the vocal is just dry. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. So as you can hear, there is some proximity effect stuff happening. Some of the low ends a little bit muddy. And then we could clean up some of the mids and upper mids a bit more as well. So the first tool, which I always use, is FabFilter Q3. And we're just gonna do a little low cut just to get rid of some of the rumbling that might be down there from air conditionings or the room or whatnot. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. I'ma be a new type. You always wanna be careful with this filter is because you can lose a lot of the authority of the vocal if you cut out too much low end. So somewhere around 70, 80 can usually be good. The next thing I'm hearing is there is this resonance right around here, this 200 to 250 area, and that happens a lot with vocals. And what I like to use is this vocal EQ by Autotune. And I'm not the biggest Antares fan in the world, but this plugin does a pretty good job of what I'm trying to achieve with it. And what it does is it, it follows the pitch around and you can compress it only when it goes over the threshold. So let me just play this and we'll find the resonant that we're trying to get rid of and then I'll pull the threshold down. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. I'ma be a new type. From one hit, one look in my body, boy, I'm changing your life. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. So that cleaned it up. Now, as I said before, always got to be careful with the low end that you don't scoop too much out because it can really thin out your vocals and make for not a pleasant vocal and lose authority. So now that we got that cleared up, I'm either going to go back to the Pro Q or a lot of times what I do is just pull another Pro Q and I'm going to do this trick, which you've probably seen before, where you just kind of wait for Pro Q to show you what resonance are peaking and I will dial some of those back a bit. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. I'm going to be a new type. From one hit, one look in my body, boy, I'm changing your life. Bet that you didn't see it coming. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. So now as you can hear, some of those residences weren't that good. We, I didn't quite catch this one, so I just drew it in myself. But sometimes just doing little notches where these residents are will just help clean up the vocal just a bit more. And you can do this two different ways. You can do it like this, just leave it as an EQ move, or you can also make it dynamic, which works sometimes too. I find sometimes just clearing them out like this sounds good, and you don't have too much compression happening, which can sometimes get things kind of pumpy sounding. Okay, so now that we've heard this, I just want to go back, and I'm still feeling like that low end resonance is just a bit too much. We're gonna play it and I'm just gonna dial back just a touch more. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. And that sounded pretty good. Let's just hear it before and after now. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. That sounded really good now. Next move we could do is either add compression, but that's, you know, for a different video. The last plugin that I use a lot for this kind of stuff is obviously Soothe 2. And I have a couple different presets that I use, and it's just gonna clean up this top upper register a bit. And let me play it with Delta mode on, which just shows you what it's doing. So it's very good at cleaning up those top ones where I've kind of cleaned those other ones on our own with Fab Filter and Auto Tune Vocal EQ. This will do the top part. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. 
So now let's hear everything all together. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. I'm gonna be a new type. Sounds much cleaner. And now you can move on to doing more broad stroke EQs and final polishes, adding air and so forth. But now you have a clean vocal to basically start with. Okay, so this next vocal is by Garrett Gregory. It's a bit different than Rhea's. It's a country song and it's a bit thinner sounding. Let's take a listen. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. So as you can hear, we don't have too much of that low end stuff. It's more the upper mids and lower mids that's making that thing kind of raspy and a little harsh sounding. So let's see what we're gonna do with that. So just like last time, we'll start with the godfather of all EQs, Pro Q3. And now, since we don't have to worry about the low end on this, I'm not hearing any low end issues, I'm gonna go right to the resonance frequency trick and get some of those lower mid range notes that we don't want. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. But this is who I was the whole time. You used to make it out to every one of my shows And now I'm begging on my knees to try to get you to go Well, if I'm lucky, maybe when I get back You'll be waiting with Okay, so on this one, we're actually going to do a dynamic just because it's moving a bit differently. So what I do is once we get the notches, is you just select them all and then command click to bring them back to zero, then right click and make dynamic and then pull these down here. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. But this is who. And then once you have these resonance in the right place, you can solo with the headphone and slightly move them to get them in the perfect place where you really hear that resonance poking out. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna. Heart is last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. Now let's hear this with and without the pro Q to see what it's done. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. And so that's done a good job of cleaning that up. So now for this one, all we probably need is just the Soothe 2 to do some of our top end issues and that should fix it right up. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. Let's hear it before and after now. Last night I was out with the boys till two. It's gonna take a whole month to make it up to you. I guess my heart is just a little too wild. So we've definitely taken out some of those annoying nasally frequencies out and now it's much cleaner and ready to go into full mixing where we can add some more compression and final EQ to it, DSing, whatever you need. Okay, so this last vocal is by rapper Matt Corman. He's on the road a lot, so he's always recording in different places. Let's take a listen to his vocal and see what it will need. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Okay, so you can hear the room in the vocal. There's some pops and stuff happening. So this one we're going to have to dive deep in to get it to sound right. Uh, the first thing I use on something like this is Clarity Deverb by Waves, and we just use the mono one. And this one, you can use this version, which is the cheaper or the, the pro, they both work pretty well. And you can play it with the different neutral networks as they call it. But let's just dial this back and see when we get some of the room sound out of the vocal. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm gonna take it around the world. Born flights across the pond, fall in love with all these girls, about to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. That works well all the time. Now, just so you guys know, if you want the pro version, if you want to spend the extra money, you don't need to. But what this has that the other one doesn't have is the tail smoothing, which can help bring some of the, the room back. Sometimes with dialing this back too much can make it sound a bit artificial. Uh, with that tail smoothing, it can fix that up. So let me do it with that now. 
I'm about to go and set it off. I'ma take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Lifestyle rich and can miss you. Back against. I'm about to go and set it off. I'ma take it around the world. Born flights across. I'm about to go and set it off. I'ma take it around the world. I'm about to go and set it off. I'ma take. So you can hear the difference. This one sounds a little more natural than the regular one. But honestly, the regular one sounds fine to me. So we're just going to stick to that and save ourselves some money. Okay, so now that we have this, let's pull up Pro Q. And there's definitely a bunch of frequencies that we're going to have to clean up in this. Let's get started. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Lifestyle. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall okay, so we're getting there. Now, with this one, you're also getting peas and some weird noises and stuff. So what I do with that is I use, and I have it on my, my quick thing, but I'll use um, Deplosive, right? RX Deplosive. And I'll just put that on if you're in you know, Pro Tools, it's Audio Suite or Event Effects in Studio One. And I will put that on, and I usually have it starting with a frequency at 135. It defaults at 200, which can be too much. Let's see if this helps some of the plosives we're, we're dealing with here. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Okay, so that helps. And then also, we're going to put on the mouth declick to help out with some of those little pops in here and there. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Okay. Sometimes this plugin can actually help just to just help little edges and stuff. Listen to the output clicks and you can see what it's doing. So especially that click there, it fixed it right up. All right. So we're getting there. Now, the next thing to do with this one is something we haven't done with the other ones, but because it's a little bit more raw, we'll pro pull up the um, Fab Filter Pro MB, which is probably the third or fourth tool I'm always using. I have this 404 setting, which kind of mimics what the 404 can do with the MIC DSP. I just like the way the Fab Filter works better. And this one, you can control your mid range and your low end compression separately, and it can help just balance it all out a bit more. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm gonna take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Lifestyle rich and can miss you. Back I'm about to go and set it off. I'm gonna take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Okay, so let's hear how we're doing. Let's hear this before and after now. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. Lifestyle. So it's definitely been cleared up a lot. It's hard for me to, to, to turn off the event effects, but as you can see, it has smoothed it out quite a bit. Now this one, because we're having to do so much work to smooth it out and make it clean again, we will, if you were mixing this fully, we would have to bring in some mid range and brightness on the EQ after. Uh, lastly, let's just put it, pull in our um, our buddy here, the Smooth 2, and see what it sounds like. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. So there's that. And just so you guys can hear it, let's pull back. Let's pull some of this mid-range up and a little bit of high end. Because right now, sometimes it sounds like the, the original sounds a little better. But it's just because we've cleaned it up too much, maybe. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. I'm about to go and set it off. I'm going to take it around the world. Born flights across the pond. Fall in love with all these girls. About to blow the whistle. Can't explain to you the feeling moving like a missile. And now you can see by just putting a little bit of EQ on the top end to bring back some of that harshness that we've pulled off can really make the vocal sound great. And that's what's good about cleaning things up before it, uh, before you do any sort of you know brightening or polishing is you can sometimes push that more than you would have been able to if you had not done all these steps to get the vocal to sound clean. Okay, so that's it for the video on how to clean up vocals. 
hopefully it was helpful for you. Let me know what tools you use uh, for cleaning up vocals in the comments below. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, you can hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.